Hi guys! Sorry, I know it's been a while. Um, I'm a very busy lady though, so you're, you're just gonna have to forgive me and I think we're all just gonna have to come around to the idea that I don't make videos very often, but when I do, damn it, they're amazing. So let's just leave it at that. Um, today I'm gonna be doing this look for you, which I think is kind of I was going for a bit of a mermaidy, beachy kind of look, so I'm doing like sea foamy green on the eyes and coral, coral in the sea, do you get it? Like beachy hair. Um, so if you want to see how to get this look, keep watching. Okay, so I already have my moisturiser on, and for foundation I'm going to use Max Mineralize Skin Finish. No, Max Mineralize Satin Finish in NC25. That's their liquid mineral foundation. I just have a little sample of it. Um, this is a really, really, really natural foundation. It's kind of almost like tinted moisturizer, but without the moisturizer bit in it. And it's just a very, very sheer, natural, really glowy makeup. And I'm using a 188 brush. Um, which is just like the mini version of the, the 187. Now, I don't want to put on too much because then I lose the nice natural glowy effect, so I'm gonna leave it at that. For concealer then, um, for concealer, I'm going to use the MAC uh, Studio Finish Concealer in NC20. This is a 224 brush. And for my under eye concealer, I'm going to use the Pro Longwear Concealer by MAC um, and the colour is NW20. Just, I'm really kind of purpley around my eyes, like really bad today for some reason. So I'm going to use the NW that has the more pinky undertone in it. So that, that is better for kind of neutralising those blue tones around the eyes rather than using the yellow toned NC, which will probably just give me like a nice green kind of cast around my eyes when it mixes with the blue. I'm gonna do my bronzer now. I'm using the Chanel uh, Bronze Universel. So I want a creamy bronzer. I don't want to use a powder over my skin. I don't, I'm not actually sure if I'm gonna powder my skin at all. We'll see, we'll see how shiny I get. Um, so rather than use a powder bronzer then, I'm just gonna use this cream one. And my, this is a 109 brush. Now for my cheeks, I'm actually going to use Costa Chic Lipstick um, by MAC, which is a gorgeous, real vibrant curly pink. Um, and the way I'm going to put it on is, I have a load of it on my hand there, I'm going to take my 109 brush, I'm going to take it directly from my hand, rather than drawing it on straight from the bullet and then trying to blend it in. That's a bit of a nightmare, so from here. It's a really pretty colour on the cheeks. Because I know MAC do a cream colour base that's a very similar colour to that, but you can only get it in the pro stores. Um, Virgin Isle, I think, is the name of it. So this, I think, is a good dupe.
again we're just sticking with the nice creamy products on the skin so it looks a little bit more natural and more skin like now, and just because I don't think my skin is quite shiny enough I'm going to add a bit of a highlight um, I'm going to use a uh, pearl cream colour base by MAC now it's a little bit gunky looking but just that's just from my brush um, and I'm going to use the Inglot 4SS brush which is the dupe for the MAC 225 brush I think it's called like the bigger version of the 224 it's a load of people's holy grail brush but I got this in Inglot and it's a gorgeous brush for highlighting Kind of along the top of my brow bone as well. Maybe a little bit down my nose. Okay, okay. Then we can start on the eyes. Um, I'm going to do my eyeshadow. Oops. I'm going to do my eyeshadow before I um, do my eyebrows. So the first thing I'm going to use on my eyes is Painterly Paint Pot by Mac, which I really need to get a new one. It's kind of got all dried up as well, which isn't good. And I'm going to apply that all over the lid using my 224 brush. And a little bit underneath. Now for my eyeshadow I'm going to be using this beautiful thing. Now, I'm sorry, I know I do this an awful lot, but this was a limited edition product. It's from Lancome. I think it's from like four years ago. Um, I can't even remember the name of the collection or anything. Um, but isn't it so beautiful? It's like an oyster. And there's a little pearl on the mirror. It's so cute. Um, but the colours are, they're very similar to... Um, MAC have a collection out at the moment called Surf Baby and there's the stackable crushed metal pigments and the one that has um, the silver and gold in it has a colour that's very similar to the two of these mixed together it's like a seafoamy, greeny kind of shimmery colour so that's your best dupe for this I would say but anyway, we'll crack on so first thing I'm going to do is take this colour going to take a 219 brush and bring that under. Now I'm going to take a 217 brush and this colour here which is very similar to Aquadisiac by MAC. into the crease and the outside kind of half of my eye and I'm not trying to get like a, a defined crease look or anything like that I just want to build up the intensity of the color a little bit more um, and you can see there it's very soft but you can still it really kind of pops against my skin and I'm just taking that colour underneath the eye then with my um, 219 brush. Now I'm going to take a little bit of black track uh, gel liner just along my top lashes but I want quite a thin line. I'm going to be applying fake lashes 
and I just want this to be here to kind of disguise where the, the lashes are glued on but I don't really want it to look like it's like I've got loads of liner on Um, some mascara, I'm using the Rimmel, <laughs> the Rimmel Sexy Curves with the funny brush. I've just put my glue on my lashes so while that's kind of um, going tacky I'm going to do my brows. I just want them very very soft. So I'll start right at the outside where there are no brows. <laughs> I'm holding the pencil right at the end so I'm not putting pressure on it really I'm just kind of letting it drag across my face. Before and after, ooh. Yes, that's it with both eyes done. I'll just zoom in a little bit. So they're just really, really pretty, bright, pastel-y kind of. Okay, lips. Actually, before lips, I have decided that I will powder my skin just a little bit. Um, I'm gonna use my Inglot, uh, what is it, 4SS brush for this. Um, and I'm just using a mineralized skin finish natural in light medium. I'm just gonna put it where I would get shiny. So just kind of my T-zone. I'm not gonna do down the bridge of my nose because I don't really get shiny there. And I like that it's it's kind of dewy looking. Definitely my chin. So lips. I'm going to use Costa Chic that I used on my cheeks, on my lips, just so the whole thing kind of ties in together. Um, for lip liner, I'm using, uh, this is a Benefit lip pencil, discontinued, of course. Um, Mercy is the name of it. It would be the closest to Chicory by MAC, or, um, yeah, Chicory. <laughs> That's the only one I can think of. It's quite a corally, orangey kind of colour. And that's the finished look. 
I hope you liked it. If you did, please subscribe. Leave me a comment if you have a request for any other looks. Um, and please tell all your friends about me and get them to subscribe too. That would be amazing. Uh, okay, thanks guys. We'll see you soon. Bye.